Well, this is so special, Simon, because it is the first art fair or art show I've been to in over a year since the pandemic started. And this art fair, I gotta say, it took guts and it took really preparing because these COVID rules, these COVID rules are one week old. You guys know how quickly things have changed and yet they were able to recruit and bring artists from a wide variety of mediums from all across the state. Some were even able to, you know, come from other places. Mark, you have mm -hmm. done so much throughout the course of the pandemic. Mm -hmm trying to empower right. and help artists with their website selling online and yeah. really make sure that they had what they needed to survive. This is going to be right. a big day for you. Oh, it's so good to be out in the real world again. Um, right, like you said, we focused on how to help people figure out how to sell online. A lot of these artists, though, haven't had a single sale in over a year. So they're really eager to meet people and they have a lot of inventory as you can imagine. I bet they've had a lot of time to create and there's such a wide variety. So this is Diem Basket. So this is, it looks like a, it's kind of a woven basket. Mm -hmm. Yup, and he's got a whole variety of shapes, sizes. It's kind of fun. We haven't had him meet before and I'm excited that uh, people are gonna get a chance to meet him. I love that. Then we've got metal work and this is uh, another artist. Right, Todd Todd's Richter. been around forever and he's just such a favorite. We try to bring him back as often as possible. That is awesome. And Todd is from Michigan, Britain, yep. Michigan. Yeah. And so we got the basket, we got the metal working. And then this is just a beautiful painting right. with a wood frame. Yeah. And Anthony uh, Brass actually helped us with a lot of the workshops. He's a younger artist. So therefore, I guess he knows a lot more about social media and such. <laughs> so he was able to really help some of the older artists to figure it out. It's like another language. So I see his area code there from Macomb County. So another yep. Michigan artist, painter, illustrator. Right, and this is Leif Spork. He's from, uh, actually from Norway, but he's got a shop up in Northern Michigan in the uh, Pinky area. Okay, I was gonna say, is it yeah. Holland? Yeah, so it's up in that area. And then this one here is another artist that's brand new to us, Otis Arville. Uh, I'm excited about him too. Uh, a lot of people have been looking at his work. That's it's photography, but he does so many different things with it that it just feels a little bit more energizing. Yes, mm -hmm. I love it. So we've got the photography, we've got the, the tiling from leaf, we've got the painting, the metal, the baskets weaving, and you can see we've got a number of vendors and artists with their tents yep. and their gear set up. There is more social distancing, so the tents are spread out more than you probably would have seen in the past. And if you aren't vaccinated, they do want you to wear a mask. Max, masks are required if you're not vaccinated. Otherwise, they are optional. And so you can always keep one handy if you think you might want to put it on if it gets crowded. But uh, otherwise, what a beautiful day to be out here on the water yes. in Kensington Park, supporting some local artists, soaking up the sun. Mm -hmm. And three days today, right. Sunday and Monday. Right. Lots of opportunity to come on down and explore. Cool. And we've got some food trucks for them, too, so they Ooh. can really enjoy. Good. I'm hungry. <laughs> hungry for art, Simon, and good food. <laughs> Back to you.